All right, I'm gonna try to sque uh, squeeze in two more. <laughs> you may have heard that I live in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, uh, as of 2019 or so. And um, I, I study history there casually, and I'm part of a team that has been researching the life of a man named Thomas Lovett. And he, in 1888, um, established a hotel in Harpers Ferry, this beautiful spot. Um, he was a black man, which in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, to do something like that was unusual. <laughs> and even more unusual, or you would think, the people that backed him financially, their families had, um, had plantations, they had enslaved people for generations, and in this moment in time, they're like, let's make this work, let's make this work. But there were other people in the region that weren't as keen on it. And uh, this song is about that. Um, it's in the style of what's often called a murder ballad, where it's sung from the perspective of someone who is not very nice. Uh, I will say, in this case, it is an attempted murder ballad. Because in this case, uh, Thomas and Lavinia Lovett ended up succeeding, and they operated that hotel together uh, independently until 1926. Wow. And just one other detail, you may know Harper's Ferry, of course, from John Brown's raid, where he attempted with a band of 21 people, black and white, to, to end slavery in this country, started the Civil War. In southern leaning areas in the region of Harpers Ferry, most certainly was, it was part of Virginia, they referred to him as Osawatomie. And that was because he perpetrated a massacre, he led one, in Bleeding Kansas, uh, which is kind of a prelude to Harpers Ferry. Uh, so uh, be careful, this has probably uh, a lot of those CR, uh, CRTs you've heard about. <laughs> Um, and it's also not just in the past, so if, if there's a pattern here, it's, that's probably valid. This is called Back to the Bottom. Take a big fall to the bottom, back to the bottom. 